first thing you want to keep in mind when you talk about Israel and the United States is that the two countries are joined at the hip. There's just no question about that. I don't think this is a controversial issue. I don't think you've ever had a closer relationship between any two countries than you have between Israel and the United States. So it's very hard for the United States in any meaningful way to distance itself from Israel. So that's the first point you want to keep in mind. Second point you want to keep in mind is that the taproot of the problem here is the Israel-Palestine or the Israel-Palestinian conflict. That, that's the taproot. And you just have to understand what that conflict looks like. This is a long-standing conflict, as you all know. But you just want to understand its essence because that tells you a lot about what's happening now and what is likely to happen over time. The United States has been deeply interested in creating a two-state solution, as most of you, I'm sure, know, in uh, Israel. And what the United States has been interested in doing is creating a Palestinian state in the West Bank and in Gaza and in East Jerusalem, living next door to a Jewish state, Israel. We have failed. We have not been able to push the Israelis to accept that, and uh, there's no two-state solution. So what the Israelis now have, and which the government in Israel wants, is Greater Israel. Greater Israel includes the West Bank, Gaza, and 1967 Israel, or Green Line Israel. Okay, That's Greater Israel. The key point you want to keep in mind is that there are approximately 7.3 million Palestinians and approximately 7.3 million Israeli Jews in Greater Israel. There is rough equality between Palestinians and Israeli Jews. You just want to think about that. So when you think about Israel and you think about Israel as the Jewish state, which is completely understandable. You want to understand that that Jewish state has as many Palestinians in it as it has Jews. And by the way, there's a very prominent uh, demog uh, demographic expert who is Israeli who argues that there are slightly more Palestinians than there are Jews inside greater Israel. And furthermore, when you look at demographic trends over time, there are going to be more Palestinians than there are Jews. And this is a Jewish state. So the question is, what do you do here? Uh, and what has happened is that the Israelis do not want to give equal rights to the Palestinians. Because if they gave equal rights to the Palestinians, Israel would soon cease to be a Jewish state because there are more Palestinians than there are Jews, if not now, certainly in the future. So in the case of the Palestinians who are in Gaza, right, Basically, they have been cordoned off. They have been isolated in Gaza. And it is commonplace to refer to Gaza as the largest open-air prison in the world. And if you read virtually any account of what life is like for those Palestinians who live in Gaza, it is absolutely horrible.